Hi, Peter Charles here, folks for Life Fly Fishing. And let's talk about catching panfish on the fly. I mean, it's an awful lot of fun. And one of the best things about it is it's not fussy about tackle. It's not fussy about anything. Shorter rods are usually better. Lighter rods are usually better. But you can really go after them with whatever you have handy. Uh, I would recommend something from a 2 weight to a 5 weight, somewhere around 7, 8 foot long. That'll do the job, but I mean, if you've got something else, go for it, use it, who cares? Uh, it, they're, they're simple to catch. I mean, panfish don't spook easily. Um, they'll take pretty well anything you throw at them that they could fit in their mouths. You know, you can have a blast with them. Uh, I've caught, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of perch and sunfish and rock bass, you name it, bluegills. You know, they can be a riot. Uh, flies are very simple. I mean, good old colorful wet flies we use in our trout fishing. You can use those. I mean, the, the silver bodied ones work well. Uh, sometimes they want yellow, sometimes they'll take another color. If it's got some red on it, it always works. Um, also, you get into poppers. Poppers are an awful lot of fun too. Just get the really small ones. And, um, you know, you don't need anything fa fancy in the way of a leader either. I mean, your old. Um, trout leaders that are getting a little chewed up, use them for panfish. Uh, you can fish off of a dock uh, from the shore of a pond. As long as you've got a bit of casting room, you're okay to go. Um, they are an awful lot of fun. And uh, the only thing I would suggest that if you're casting poppers, uh, you use a, a line that has a bit of a flunt, uh, blunt, flunt, uh, a blunt front taper. There we go, try and say that quickly. Uh, the blunt front taper uh, gives you better turnover of those poppers. And so something in the four or five weight range makes it a little easier to chuck poppers. But, you know, if you're throwing little wet flies, partridge and orange work great, by the way. If you're throwing little wet flies in two weights or three weights, they'll do the job just lovely. The other thing is if you want to introduce your child to fly fishing, this is the best way. They catch fish, it's easy. They, there's no technical aspect about it too as long as they can get the line out 15 or 20 feet they can get a, catch a sunfish and, a, and they'll have an absolute blast so if you want to you know look at getting your child into this pan fishing is the way to go if you want to get them into fly fishing they, they've got to have success they've got to have fun they've got to catch fish and man will they catch fish when you're fishing for panfish so give it a try cheers